You know, if you're working on a house that is from the 20s, 30s, 40s, maybe even 50s, the chances are that if it has not been remodeled, those hinges on the doors have been painted over many, many times, and that makes it hard to replace the hinges. Uh, in this case, what I did was um, I slid some um, door supports, uh, some door studs underneath the doors and lifted them up enough that that um, in anticipation of getting the doors loose, the doors wouldn't destroy the jams. So the first things I did was, um, and the, you can see after I've actually pulled a door off um, the jams, then I lay it on its side. I use a spring clamp or a spring, spring chisel, spring tools chisel in order to cut through the paint and get to the bottom of the groove these are flat headed screws, which are just a pain in the butt to work with. They're very easy to strip. So you wanna clear out all that paint. You know, three or four snaps with a spring tool does work. Once you've got that, um, then what you do is you use an impact tool, which you can pick up at an auto parts store. This is a tool that's, again, a spring loaded tool. You can slide in different tips. I'm using a fairly small um, flat um, screw bit. And I'm also marking, um, indicating where the, the screw slot is when I start. And that way, as I hit it, I can see if I'm getting it to move. So I put it down there, I use a mallet on there. You could use a hammer, mallet, doesn't, doesn't really matter, but you'll see one hit and I'm starting to see it move already. So I'll reseat it, make sure that it's sitting down there and smack a couple times. Um, once you get going and you get comfortable with this process, um, you can hit it a few times and you get pretty quick. Then I take a hand screwdriver with making sure that I'm pushing down hard and I make sure that the screw is turning and then I can switch to an electric and um, just, just remove it all the way out there. Now, after you've done this and you've removed all the screws from the hinge, you don't want to just lift up on the hinge or you can split the wood because it's really bonded to the hinge. So what you want to do is get all those screws out of there. Okay. And then you want to take your mallet and you want to gently tap on um, the hinge itself, okay? Be careful that you don't smack the edge of the door. But once you've, um, once you've done that, you've, you've basically broken the seal between the paint, the wood, and the hinge. And um, then you can just slide out the hinge. And you'll see me do that right here. So tap, tap, tap. You can see I'm just hitting the hinge. Now I tap it outwards and carefully slide it out. And when you put in your new hinges, make sure that they're the same thickness. If not, you're gonna have to mortise out your hinge slots uh, in the door and the jam so that they sit flat. And conversely, if the hinges are too thin, you're going to have to build that up with like a piece of card stock, a playing card or whatever to get them to sit flush. But they need to sit the same as those original hinges or the door's not going to close properly.